coming up next week at the Strasbourg Plenary. A push to get old scandals kicked to the curb for good as food origin labelling and unfair tax practices come under the spotlight. Welcome to the agenda. It's an uncertain future for the tens of thousands of refugees stranded across Europe. But could a common EU asylum policy help ease some of their suffering? Europe has struggled in its efforts to manage refugee flows and had to do a deal with Turkey, which was much criticised. But the countries on the front line are now faced with larger numbers of asylum applications as refugees trying to beat being forced to leave Europe for Turkey. In the future, asylum claims may now not be handled by the country that a refugee first arrives to. MEPs vote on the new Commission proposal on Wednesday. We know that many of the terrorist suspects have a criminal background. The European police force takes one step closer to becoming bigger and better to fight terrorism. New powers will allow Europol to set up specialised counter-terrorism units. Increased powers are also being given to step up efforts to counter cybercrime. MEPs will give the new rules their final seal of approval on Wednesday. A war has many stages. The one against multinationals and their tax avoidance schemes has been hard fought. But now the attention turns towards member states and their willingness to share information on the big companies operating in their playground. Plans are also in the pipeline to make the Commission the middleman, with access to any information shared between national tax authorities. Will MEPs agree that member states should share corporate tax returns? And now for some news in brief. Ending discrimination for mothers and fathers with newborn babies. On Thursday, MEPs vote on a parental leave initiative. Traffickers benefit to the tune of some 130 billion euros a year. MEPs are calling on member states to implement laws to better protect women and children in particular. The horse meat scandal may have long passed, but MEPs are renewing calls to make country of origin labelling mandatory on certain food products. But it's not just meat, they want it for milk too. And they have polls that suggest that 88% of citizens back them for meat and 84% on milk labelling. But the European Commission has so far not stepped up to propose legislation on the issue, stating cost to be the factor. A resolution will be put to a vote on Tuesday. And that's all we have this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week. It seems to me.